We've learned that even minor traumas, such as a sprained ankle or uh, small fractures of the foot, can actually lead to blood clots, partly because of the immobility uh, due to the injury and uh, the inflammation. A blood clot can become a pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot that travels from the lower extremities and lands in the lungs. Uh, what I tell my patients to really look out for after a musculoskeletal or orthopedic injury is a setback in their recovery. Their symptoms and the recovery may be progressing well, and then all of a sudden they'll notice that they're having more swelling or more discomfort. That's an important time to uh, think about a blood clot. Also, if things aren't improving the way they should, there's, there's no improvement. Uh, the swelling's persistent even when it should be starting to get better. Those are important circumstances in which to uh, think about blood clots. This report is a reminder that deep vein thrombosis and pulmonary embolism are things that can strike um, young patients. Both providers and patients should make themselves aware of the symptoms and signs. www.natfonline.org is a perfect place to start to uh, make oneself aware about the different signs and symptoms of these venous blood clots. There's a lot of that you can actually do uh, that's in your purview to prevent blood clots and it's important that patients take advantage of that.